I'm Steve Spatucci, Senior Graphics Specialist for Okie Data Americas, and I'm going to take you through how to set up and print this invitation using only spot color white toner. As you can see here, I've created this invitation layout in Adobe Illustrator. But you can work in whatever program you prefer because unlike more sophisticated documents that use a mix of color and white on the page, which I'll cover in future videos, the spot color driver setting of prints only spot color toner doesn't have any special requirements for setting up where the white goes in the document. The way prints only spot color toner works is that darker elements in the document print at a higher percentage of white toner, while lighter elements print less white. So text or images at 100% black will print at 100% white, while 50% black will print at 50% white, and the white background won't print at all. Even color images will print the same way as you'll see in a minute. For this invitation, I want the company's logo, which now contains yellow and blue, to be a solid white, which means I need to make it solid black. I change the colors in the logo and text fills, as well as the stroke of the line that separates the text and the company's name. I want the snowflakes to print at a percentage of white, so I could leave them in the original light blue color that they started as, but to get a little more control, I select one of the flakes, then I click Select Similar Objects tool. This is a great time saver if you have many objects with the same stroke and fill type scattered about your document. The flakes are only strokes, so I change those strokes to 70% black. The dual wine glass elements are raster images. I consider using Illustrator's Image Trace tool to convert them to vector shapes, but because I want to preserve the subtlety of the edge of the glass as well as the reflection in the drink, I leave the images in their original form. Now all that's left to do is print the document. And while it's possible to print on the Oki C942 directly from certain applications, printing from Adobe Acrobat or Reader can help speed up the process and avoid mistakes, especially when you're frequently printing different documents with different spot color settings. So I export my file to a PDF, and not just any kind of PDF, but a PDF X1A that you can select from the standard dropdown in Illustrator. Using PDF X1A isn't necessary when printing only white toner, but if you're working with a lot of different kinds of documents and printing them all from a C942, exporting your document this way will save you a lot of trouble and we'll explore why in future videos. Once I've saved as a PDF, I open the document in Adobe Acrobat and select Print. I'm going to be printing on a medium-thick, berry-colored paper stock, so there are a few settings I need to select. First, I make sure I have the right size paper selected under Page Setup. Then, under Printer, I go to Paper Feed and select Multi-Purpose Tray. For any kind of thicker media, you'll get better results printing from the multi-purpose tray than you will from an internal tray. Under Spot Color, select Prints Only Spot Color Toner. This setting is critical in determining where the spot color goes on the page. I'm going to leave the trapping off since I'm not printing any color, though this will be another critical setting that I'll explore in future videos. Finally, under Print Options, I go to the Feed tab and select Cardstock for the media type and then Heavy for the media weight. Then I hit Print and Print again. My output looks as I intended clean white text and images on a solid berry colored background. Thanks for watching and tune in soon to see more spot color videos.